Where's your head at? <laughs> right now. Wait if it's gonna go. We'll see what they have to say for themselves. They want to meet up, they probably want to kiss your ass. You know, like to to get closer to you, to say sorry, you know, like they just up and after they say, oh, I'm sorry, but the sorry doesn't mean anything. Sorries are just like wipe my ass on my sorries now. It's been a few days since we got back from the Grand Canyon and announced the pregnancy news on social media. We haven't really heard anything from my side of the family until yesterday when Becky and Jen reached out because they said they wanted to meet up. Since I haven't seen or really talked to my sisters at all in a while, I really don't know what to expect. If you, if you want to keep this relationship alive, because I said no, but we don't need to make one more effort to try to solve this problem just for you. Because I think there's just a bunch of buffoons now. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where their where their head is at, you know. But now I'm pregnant, and this is a whole other ball game. Not really communicating with my sisters this past month hasn't been very easy for me because up until recently, we were very close. So I'm hoping that we can take the first steps into fixing our relationships and putting the drama behind us. Let's sit over here. Let's show them. Yeah. You want to sit over here? Yeah. Hi guys. What'd you get? Some banana and chocolate something with dates. Today I wanted to meet with Libby just to see where she's at in life. I feel like she's drifting drifting away into the abyss, you know, because she posted such incredible news on her social media platform, which is bull you know, and the way that it made us feel, the way that it made me feel especially, and it didn't feel like her. Okay, so what do we owe your uh, invitation? I don't remember inviting you, but I don't remember. Yeah, I didn't know you were coming, actually, so. Yeah, I just didn't want to leave my wife. Come alone. Oh, oh yeah, with, you shouldn't leave your wife with, with strangers, her with her sisters. Yeah, yeah. that could be yeah, a really bad a scary thought. Well, yeah, of course she's being influenced by Andre. I mean, hello. Anybody can see that. She couldn't even come alone today. Are you going to just congratulate your sister yeah, first about the pregnancy, or you're just going to be like what you are? Was that your plan? Not do it. You wanted us to come so we could wish you this guys a congratulations. It's all premeditated. We it's can see through it. It's premeditated. About? We can see right through it. It was calculated. You guys are so calculating, and we can see right what through it. What is calculated? Let's um, get pregnant and post it and not tell our family, and get then say, oh, are you going to congratulate us? We posted this on our Instagram, but you didn't bother to tell us. Me, Libby, and Becky have always been very close, and I found out Libby was pregnant at the same time the entire world did. So I just feel like at that point, like, is that how you feel about us? Like, we're not anyone special to you to have us find out the same time as a random Joe Schmo does, you know? So it's hurtful. Like, Libby would not have made that decision on her own, period. Well, you're becoming stranger more and more, so... Well, that and is true, that and is? that's not our fault. Okay, sure. Pamela. Okay, so what next? Pamela? Yes. Yeah, so now everything that I say, I'm like someone else that you don't get along with? Well, you're following her on the... I feel that the whole roots of these problems are coming from Libby's mother and Pen. She's the one that started all of this kind of behavior. She is covering up for Charlie, and her uh, daughters, Rebecca and Jenna, they're just following her lead. I didn't do anything wrong here. And why the f are you so mad? You turned on me, like, because you said you were going to stay until the exactly. Charlie exactly. problem is going to get solved so you don't get that toxicity into the family. And you went, kiss your mama's ass. You went to 
Pam's birthday party and you go over there and follow her. It's on shit. my case because I'm the only back. It's not my problem that her and Libby and you guys have an issue. So Why like is that my problem? Well, you're just followers. No. Same no. like you're a bunch of followers. Exactly. Why are you still you're proving that you're still holding on to that? Of I knew course it. I'm holding I knew on to that. It. If you don't like it, you but don't like it. Like, I'm not going to do this. You're up and go and <laughs> you have your car give away from me. On a Why'd whole other level. It's about your jealousy. You honestly think I'm jealous of you? Yes. You don't do I met him. I see you. Broke up. You're a that car. And I'm going to take it from me. Get in the car and get my car. You have no respect you have away from you me. Oh, about you either. You don't give a Wait, about that. You are his chess piece, and you're walling yourselves in, and you're not knowing what's actually happening to yourself. Your oh, bad car. Get in the car and get my car. You don't give a about him, and he doesn't give a about you either. You don't give a about that. You are his chess piece. Because you're following. Disrespectful when you're literally. You're following, Rebecca. You don't. You're a follower. Dude, I understand that if it makes you feel better at night to make up. In your head about yeah. everybody in our yeah. family, sure. It's delirious, it just shows Rebecca. How delirious. Of an individual you're you delirious. are, and you're walling yourselves in, and you're not knowing what's actually happening to yourself. You're what's you're literally excluding yourselves from With everyone that really means way. to you. After that, what? Stop. This is exactly why I didn't want to come today, and I didn't want Libby to come either. I think Libby was extremely optimistic about uh, uh, the sisters, but here we are again, we're in the same spot, we're being aggressive and it's not working. Um, I really am not um, proud about what I just did. So I'm gonna tell you that I saw like my sister in high school and someone be trying to beat her up the lockers and I just lunged at you and I'm, I'm sure you can understand that. You guys have been against him since he's gotten here. I don't want you do a rift you don't between do you guys and me. Do I need to remind you about five minutes ago, the choice that we decided to make and doing it on social media first and you hit him? I had anger, I guess, starting to form, but it's really just hurt because as your sister, I would have never done that to you the way that you did that. I would have thought about you. You didn't okay, think I, about anybody. I did think about you. But I'm the closest with dad right now. And his dad, he's closest with him. And so we wanted to make I it a nice trip. But honestly, like I was in the Grand Canyon. I'm like, I'm about to do this. Dad's going to know. He's going to tell the whole world. So I'm like, well, we already had this plan. This has already been discussed. So maybe I can just chat with her after the fact. I wish she would have just said it. Because in, in, in doing that, like, you, you ended up hurting me. I know you didn't want to. <sighs> Don't cry. Don't cry. You're gonna make me cry, stop. <laughs> I didn't know who that person was. When I saw the picture, it just, it didn't feel like her. Obviously, it's him manipulating her in a way where you can't trust anybody. And she doesn't know the, the deep pain that I felt. She has no idea. I don't want to be estranged from my little sister, but it seems like it's heading that way per Andre's motives. Listen, we made the decision as a husband and wife and a family to not share it right away. But I don't want to feel like I'm like being mean about it or insensitive. But insensitive is what you did. I'm still happy for you, Libby. I am so happy for you. But what you did to me makes me feel like I don't know you. I really feel so terrible seeing Becky being so upset.
With the way things are going lately, I honestly didn't think that my sisters would feel this way. Even though I was so upset with my mom and my sisters, I wish that I would have handled the situation differently than the way that I did it. When you're not up front with someone, like, <clears throat> there's a lot of room for speculation. And I hope it's not because you're eventually just going to put us in the same group as my mom and Charlie. But can you at least and understand why more. I did it? I can understand. I know, and I so feel I'm really bad. So I'm just trying bad, to get you know. to see my side. My That's, goal in life okay, is like to be happy and at peace. I don't want to go towards That's how I feel. the drama, I'm the, same, the I'm pain, the, the uh, pitting against each other. Like, I don't want to live that way. Dad and I actually talked about doing some therapy because he knows somebody that can intervene. What did he say about it? He asked you want, if you... we were willing to like get together with everybody and like give it another Who's shot. Everybody, everybody, literally everybody, even Charlie included. Do you know how much therapy our family needs? Things have really hit a new low with my family. No one's innocent, including Andre and myself. And I think everyone needs to start owning up to their faults. And we all just need to figure it out and how to communicate and to be cordial and respectful of one another. And I'm really, really, really hoping that this therapy session will be our saving grace.